the other thing here that I, I can't believe I have to explain this stuff. Like, uh, what's going on here? Well, Miz is just a transitional champion. Do you guys even know what a transitional champion they is? They don't, Brian. They okay, don't. well, let me explain it to you, all right? If you are going to take the title of Hulk Hogan, who's a baby face, and you're going to put it on Randy Savage... Well, you don't want Randy Savage, the baby face, to beat Hulk Hogan, the baby face. Back so, when Sheik Hogan. There's a, Do that. There's another one. There's a transitional champion in the middle. You don't want Hogan to beat baby face Bob Backlund. So the Iron Sheik beats Backlund, and then Hogan beats the Iron Sheik. That's it. That's what a transitional champion is. Drew McIntyre is in an elimination chamber match with six other, what is it, five other guys, whatever. You don't need... A transitional champion between Drew and Bobby Lashley. Drew's a babyface and Lashley's a heel. Lashley could just beat Drew. Sheamus could beat Drew. You don't need a transit. There's no point to having a transitional champion. The transitional champion, the role of the transitional champion is to keep the championship strong between two guys. Not to weaken the championship. To take it from a guy who's been a great champion to a guy who's been a complete joke for the last year, and then what does Lashley get out of beating Miz, if, if that's the guy? He gets nothing. What does Drew get out of beating a joke after the joke beat him? Nothing. They don't get anything out of this. It's, it's, it takes the whole thing down. Not to mention, not to mention, what, how many times had, had, uh, had uh, Bob Backlund lost before he put over the Iron Sheik for the title. Dude, Drew lost on Monday. Clean to Sheamus. So there's no need to... They clearly are not protecting Drew. Oh, you protected Drew because he went through a grueling chamber and then Miz cashed in on him after somebody beat him up? Well, that'd be one thing if he went through the grueling chamber and then, like, Lashley had the money in the bank and Lashley massacres the guy and cashes in and wins the title. Then you got something because at least you got a serious guy... Instead, you got the biggest joke on the roster beat him. Bro, he's a bigger... Miz is portrayed as a bigger joke than Bad Bunny. <laughs> like, do you understand yeah. what I'm saying here? Yeah, and that's no insult to Bad Bunny. You know exactly what you're saying right there. And it's just ridiculous. And I don't know, too, blank time WWE champion. That phrase means more to them than the actual championship itself does. Because I can see where Drew's had the title 10 times. Well, yeah, he lost it to Randy Orton because they ran out of an angle. And, and then he, they they didn't do it. And so then he loses the title to Orton. Now you have it. He loses it here. They love to have that where they love to see people win titles. But, like, if the title doesn't mean anything, then it doesn't mean anything. None of this means anything. If you love these video clips, head down there to the bottom right-hand side of the screen and click Join. For just $7.99 per month, you get full access to all of the episodes, over 300 at current count, full-length episodes of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, and Figure Four Daily with both Lance Storm and Filthy Tom Lawler. You can also hit that subscribe button, and you'll always be alerted as to when new shows are available.